Nations shall come to your light and kings to the brightness of your rising. From the rising of the sun to its setting, my name shall be great among the nations. And in every place, incense shall be offered to thy name and a pure offering. For my name shall be great among the nations, says the Lord of hosts. Welcome to Morning Prayer. My name is Tim Brumfield, Director of Music Ministries, Organist and Choir Master here at St. Gregory's Episcopal Church of downtown Boca Raton, Florida. If you would like to follow along, I'm in the Book of Common Prayer on page 80. Once again, welcome to everyone in this first week of Epiphany. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to hear his voice. Our psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm 12. It's found in the Book of Common Prayer on page 5. 97. Help me, Lord, for there is no godly one left. The faithful have vanished from among us. Everyone speaks falsely with his neighbor. With a smooth tongue they speak from a double heart. Oh, that the Lord would cut off all smooth tongues and close the lips that utter proud boasts. Those who say, with our tongue we will prevail, our lips are our own, who is Lord over us? Because the needy are oppressed and the poor cry out in misery, I will rise up, says the Lord, and give them the help they long for. The words of the Lord are pure words, like silver refined from ore, and purified seven times in the fire. O Lord, watch over us, and save us from this generation forever. The wicked prowl on every side, and that which is worthless is highly praised and prized by everyone. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our first lesson this morning is taken from 
Paul's letter to the Ephesians, chapter 2, verses 1 through 10. You were dead through the trespasses and sins in which you once lived, following the course of this world, following the ruler of the power of the air, the spirit that is now at work among those who are disobedient. All of us once lived among them in the passions of our flesh, following the desires of flesh and senses. And we were by nature children of wrath, like everyone else. <clears throat> but God, who is rich in mercy, out of the great love with which he lived, with which he loved us even when we were dead through our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved and raised us up with him and seated us with him in the heavenly places in Jesus Christ, so that in the ages to come he might show the immeasurable riches of his grace and kindness toward us in Christ Jesus. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God, not the result of works, so that no one may boast. For we are but he has for we are what he has made us, created in Christ Jesus for good works which God prepared beforehand to be our way of life. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second lesson is from the Gospel according to Mark, chapter 1, verses 29 through 45. As soon as Jesus left the synagogue, they entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. Now Simon's mother-in-law was in bed with a fever, and they told him about her at once. He came and took her by the hand and lifted her up. Then the fever left her, and she began to serve them. That evening at sundown, they brought to him all who were sick or possessed with demons, and the whole city was gathered around the door. And he cured many who were sick with various diseases and cast out many demons. And he would not permit the demons to speak because they knew him. In the morning, while it was still very dark, he got up and went out to a deserted place, and there he prayed. And Simon and his companions hunted for him. When they found him, they said to him, everyone is searching for you. He answered, let us go on to the neighboring towns so that I may proclaim the message there also, for that is what I came out to do. And he went throughout Galilee, proclaiming the message in the, their synagogues and casting out demons. A leper came to him begging, and kneeling, he said to him, If you choose, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, Jesus stretched out his hand and touched him, and said to him, I do choose, be made clean. Immediately the leprosy left him, and he was made clean. After sternly warning him, he sent him away at once, saying to him, See that you say nothing to anyone, but go, show yourself to the priest, and offer for you, and, and offer for your cleansing what Moses commanded, as a testimony to them. But he went out and began to proclaim it freely and to spread the word so that Jesus could no longer go into a town openly, but stayed in the country. And people came to him from every quarter. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has dawned upon you. For behold,
darkness covers the land. Deep gloom enshrouds the people. But over you, the Lord will rise and his glory will appear upon you. Nations will stream to your light and kings to the brightness of your dawning. Your gates will always be open by night or by day. They will never be shut. They will call you the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Violence will be no more heard in your land, ruin or destruction from within your borders. You will call your walls salvation and all your portals praise. The sun will no more be your light by day. By night, you will not need the brightness of the moon. The Lord will be your everlasting light and God will be your glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Let us now meditate on the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. <clears throat> Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day, we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. Lord God, almighty and everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We now come to that time of offering our own prayers of thanksgivings and intercessions. We pray for all those who are on our prayer lists, for Tammy, for Christopher, for Julie, for Susan, for Lynn and Tony, for John and Angela, for Tim and Al, for Robin,
We lift up all those who may be in a nursing home, hospital, rehab center. We pray for all those who may be suffering from COVID or the flu. We lift up all those, dear Lord, who have lost a loved one. May they know peace and comfort during this time of bereavement. <clears throat> dear Lord, we pray for this nation, for our president, for all those who serve in our armed forces, for leaders around the world, for all those who are enduring war, for those in war-torn countries. Keep them safe, dear Lord, and we pray for peace. We pray for this earth, for our planet, that we may be better stewards of your creation and stop climate change. We pray for this church, for its many ministries, for our ministers, Father Sherman and his family, Father Thomas and his family. We pray that St. Gregory's will continue to be a beacon of light and hope here in South Florida and throughout the world. And now, Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all, for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, Give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives. By giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Once again, welcome to Morning Prayer. My name is Tim Brumfield, Director of Music Ministries, Organist and Choir Master here at St. Gregory's Episcopal Church of downtown Boca Raton, Florida. It's a pleasure to welcome you this morning. I'm visiting my family and I will, am not here to, <laughs> live with you today, so forgive me for not scrolling through your comments. I'm coming to you via a recorded broadcast. It's so wonderful to be with you again uh, for morning prayer. Uh, thank you for um, uh, giving us some time off uh, these last few weeks as, as we all recuperated from Christmas and the New Year's, and, but it's wonderful to be back with everyone this morning to our Iona family. I'm going to close this out with a final meditation, and as I was reading the scripture, I was reminded on just how great our God is and how great our Lord Christ is. So I will close this out with one of my favorites, and I know it's one of yours, how great thou art. Go out and make it a wonderful day today. Do something for someone without them even knowing it. Smile, it will make you feel so much better and will be a light to those around you. Be the light. Thank you, have a wonderful day, and God bless. Thank you.